Welcome back, you gorgeous and beautiful people from the internet. My name is Mansi Games. Today, we're going to go through Nourish Rune for Horde. This is extremely difficult if you're on a PvP server, but it is doable uh, if you follow exactly what I'm doing. And uh, yeah, let's get into the guide. First of all, we have to find a guy called Rotting Ancient for this whole thing to work. Um, it spawns in Dustwallow Marsh in a very specific island. I'll show you guys afterwards where I get it. Um, if you kill it, it's going to drop you an item, uh, uh, the quest item that starts the whole thing. So in Dustwallow Marsh, over here on the right side of Barrens, only on that little island right there is the only place the Rotting Ancient spawn uh, that you can kill. If you loot to me, get an a item, a, a, a quest item, which you have to right click, obviously, um, to get the whole thing started. Okay, guys, for you to get this rune, all you have to do is make sure that you have a trail of flight points, okay? So if you are Horde, obviously, you'll have to have this flight point right here in Moonglade. You have to have it connected to this area right here, which is in Falwood. And then you have to have this flight point right here, which is in Ashenvale. Uh, the splinter tree post and then you have to have the uh the flight point at orgrimmar uh, once you're in orgrimmar you don't really need any other flight points to make it work because if you do fly anywhere else um other than any main city uh you will get a debuff that is called no honor thank you for that laugh <laughs> you'll get a debuff that is called no honor and that no honor will make you lose the water buff so it's very important that you um, follow this guide to the T. So I'm playing on Living Flame, which is a PvP server. Uh, I died roughly eight times uh, to go all the way uh, from... Uh, you guys will see, the Strangled the Veil part was extremely difficult uh, if you follow this path. But there is no better path from what I saw. Because no matter what you do, you always get the debuff. Uh, if you follow another path. So what I do is obviously I fly to um, Stranglethorn Vale. I highly recommend you guys get the Survival of the Fittest rune as well. I had to get it. I paid 50 gold for it. Uh, I had to get that rune uh, because it is it is decently good for, you know, to survive a little bit uh, easier as well. So if you're not in a party or a, a group or whatever, um, I would recommend that you just get that rune. It makes you a lot more tankier if you solo. Uh, I'm a healer that needs the nourish rune, uh, which is very annoying because I'm a healer. Um, and to get this rune is kind of difficult. So the first thing you have to do is to fly from uh, Moonglade all the way to Orgrimmar. And you need all those flight points, I told you. Now once, you're, once you go to Orgrimmar, obviously you have to go to the only place you can go over here. Uh, if you go to Stranglethorn Vale, you get the debuff. If you go to Undercity, you don't. So the only place you can go, or where they allow you to go, is Undercity Zeppelin. And it doesn't matter if you wait long for it. Uh, I had to wait a full duration. As I ran close, it was flying away. So I had to wait the full duration. Um, and we still made it in time. So get on the Zeppelin and go to Undercity. So once you're in Undercity, you can jump off a little bit early, uh, which only in front of Orgrimmar you can do. Uh, if you want to jump off earlier, make sure that you have the, the new uh, passive that you can get in cat form. And then we're going to start running, guys. We're going to start running. Um, this is the only way we can do it. You can only run and fly to main city. So there is two different ways to do it. I'll talk about the first one, the way I did it. And I'll talk about another way that can work if you want to get the difficult part out first. Uh, I was with someone for the first time, uh, but he <laughs> he wasn't really with me at all, uh, except for the places that it didn't matter. So I'll talk about that soon. Uh, the one thing that I do also recommend is that you have the aqua uh, aquatic form, which is your swim speed uh, for this part right here, uh, because you, you only have one hour to finish the... Uh, the rune uh, so your pathing needs to be good so just keep that in mind um, i play full healer here uh, with movement speed healing myself uh, so that is the only 
way that I'm going to play this uh, with obviously a mount also. So we're going to swim to the very first one. I'm going to skip a bit here. You just swim to the right side. I'll show it soon on screen. Um, I was talking to him on, on stream about stuff I do. Uh, but yeah, you, you, you just swim to the other part of Altric Valley. So, so there we go. Someone talking on stream. Uh, so yeah, you just, you just, I need to show this on, on screen maybe. So the way that I do it is, um, maybe I, I should just talk about this, uh, about it this way. So after you get to this area right here, the Zeppelin, you run down below Undercity and you start swimming to Altric Valley. Once you're in Altric Valley, it's roughly here somewhere. I'll give the coordinates in the description. Sorry, I had to sneeze. I'll give the coordinates in the description, but somewhere here is the first one. Then you run south uh, to Tornmill. You run through Tornmill over to this location right here. You'll, I, I ran below this place. It's just safer to run up. Stick to the main road. It's all risky, but then I, I go off the main road and I run like this. Now be careful because this is an alliance territory which gods could kill you so you want to run down like this uh over here is the second one the second watering rune or the second watering plant this is what i called it for the long time your watering plants after this you run to uh hammerfall over here in arathi highlands and you fly back to Undercity, okay? Once you're in Undercity, you will go back to the Zeppelin. And the only Zeppelin that you can take from here is the one that takes you to Stranglethorn Vale. It also, like, if you take Stranglethorn Vale Zeppelin from here, it for some reason doesn't give you the, de the debuff at all. I don't understand why, but yeah. So now you're in this location right here. Um, and the path that I followed as I ran straight down... Like, I swam a bit, but I ran straight down. And then I went through here, and I just crossed the road here uh, into this area. Let me show you guys. Okay, so this is me running right now. You'll see I'll press map quite often, because I know this is going to become a guide. Uh, but yeah, you see me run that way. And then all we're going to do is cross the road. Um, it's the safest route that you can get. So after you get all the way down here... You just cross the road. Uh, over there is the road. And you'll see, like, there's... This place is bombarded with Alliance. Uh, Living Flame is 100% an Alliance server. Uh, it feels like it's insane, bro. Like, you should have seen um, a Scarlet Monastery when we leveled up. Like, you cannot PvP there. It's just Alliance everywhere. Like, I literally mean this. Everywhere is just Alliance, so... But yeah, you come over to this location right here. Uh, if you're in combat, it doesn't really matter. As long as you survive, it's not a big deal. And again, you can see live chat on the left side. Uh, so yeah, just water this plant. You mount up instantly. If you can't mount up, obviously, you just use travel form. Um, but I had no issues mounting up. So the running back way is exactly the same. You run across the road, and then you stick to the left side. You cannot, unfortunately... There's some, there's some horde, dude. For some reason, it feels like there's more horde playing during the night times compared to Alliance. Uh, that's the only time we could have won Ashenvale as well at the event in Phase 1. So yeah, you run back exactly the path that you came in and do not stick on the main road. Uh, the main road is unsafe, so I just stand away to stay away from it. But yeah, what you're going to do now is run all the way north to Dustwallow Marsh I'll show you guys again in game. So you're gonna run north all the way to uh, to to Duskwallow. Oh, uh, sorry, Duskwood. So you're gonna run the same path over here. Um, you you can even run past this, which I done, and then you're gonna get on the path. Now, once you're on the path here, this is the most dangerous area you can be in because the the alliance's flight point is in between the arrows here. You, you don't you can't see it as horde uh, because it is it is uh, well you can see it if you go to it <laughs> but once you get in between this area on the left side it's a fork on the left side is alliance flight point if I'm not mistaken it's a flight point but that that is a quest giver 
for lions and stuff. So there's going to be a lot of lions there. So once I got too close to this bridge over here, I went invisible. And I stayed invisible until I got all the way out of this whole bottleneck area that you have to go through. So once you're out of that invisible, all you do is you just run uh, as, as close to not the road, but off the road as possible. And then once you get around here, just stay off the road. You'll obviously just cross. This is again a bottleneck area where there's a lot of people. Because there's a quest giver here that will give you a rune. Uh, the rune is in cat form, so I'm not going to cover it. Uh, but it's a cat form rune. And uh, everyone's quest is the same, which finally they listened. Uh, but yeah, you run, you run all the way like this. And then you get to this area right here, which is the Swamp of Sorrows, which is the final place for you to get the rune. So all you do is you stick on the road and then you go off the road, obviously, and go to this location right here. Guys, look in the description. I'll give you all the waypoints for all the locations that is needed in the path that I did it. But after you grab this and you press L, the quest should say that it's completed. You don't have to go back in time uh, because the guy was at Voiceworth. He told me to grab this quest. And I was like, dude, I'm too scared I might die. Like, I just want to hand in this quest. It took me eight hours, guys. I'm not even joking to you. It took me eight hours to do this quest. And the only time that it worked was during the midnight to late hours time. I did it 1 a.m. server time. Uh, there was not a lot of horde, uh, sorry, not a lot of uh, alliance online. So it's a little bit easier to do. The people that is online is most probably just questing or, you know, doing some, some pre best gear for Nomer. But yeah, that is how I did it. That is the path I followed. Look in the description for all the waypoints if you still need that. Um, very difficult quest. Uh, but yeah, we did it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Uh, if you have any questions, leave it in the comment section or on live stream. Links in the description to Twitch as well. And I'll catch you guys over there. Thanks for being here, guys. I appreciate it. And have a good day. Bye-bye. And good luck. <laughs>